it, guys. Welcome back to Outer Crate Parma, where we love us some what? Transformers and Godzilla. Godzilla! And this is Shin Godzilla, one of my favorite, favorite Godzillas. I uh, saw the Shin Godzilla, and I was a little bit like, what? And the more I saw, I was like, this is the most powerful Godzilla I have seen on the screen. He has lasers that come out of his tail. He has lasers that come out of his spines. He is dynamic. I, the only thing I don't like is he looks like he's got these big old white lips. Like, hey, man, I'm a fish. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Oh, yeah, I'm a froggy frog. But other than that, uh, that's the only thing I don't like. But he's got his little teeny tiny little arms. And they do move. Look at my little arms. Look at my little arms. Okay, so, but yeah, I have to say this is one of my favorite Godzillas, the Shin Godzilla. Um, one of the most dynamic, one of the most um, powerful Godzillas. It was almost to the point that the humans didn't know there was any way, shape, form, or fashion that they would be able to put a stop to Godzilla. He didn't die, because the cool thing is, is that he could reproduce more Godzillas at the end of his tail. And it was very, very interesting to see that in the show, in the movie, Shin Godzilla. And I'm going to be honest with you. I would love to see Shin Godzilla show up in the Godzilla monster universe. I really would. I would love to see the... The, the movie Godzilla that we've gotten since 2014 that's going up against Kong. I love to see these two guys go at it and see who would be the victor. Let me know in the comments down below who you think would be the victor in this right here. If you had uh, Shin Godzilla versus the Godzilla, even in the Godzilla that, that went up against King Ghidorah that, that was nuclear powered Godzilla. Let me know who you think would win. Would that be the Godzilla that would win or would this Godzilla win because he could regen uh Re, re energize himself and multiply himself and stuff so let me know in the comments down below but yes he is one of my favorite this is a very cool sculpt i really do enjoy it um i love that they did the red going down the spine back here i kind of wish they had also you know painted some of this and I'm, I'm glad they did here but it's like you get this gap of all this red then the gap then red I don't know why they didn't just kind of like give it all a little bit of a, a, a red tint. But uh, other all, uh, very, very nice figure. One of my favorites. I uh, thoroughly enjoy this guy. And I love seeing him all the time. And when I see him, he makes me want to watch the Shin Godzilla movie all over again. So if you get a chance and you get your hands on this stuff, you should right now. Because as the Godzilla Kong is coming out, you're going to start seeing more stuff at your mass retailers with Godzilla. And I gotta tell you, if you're a Godzilla fan, it's good to try and get these things because they're only, like I said, eight bucks, but you can actually have a bunch, a buttload of them and have the whole monsters if you want to. Uh, as always, like my grandfather said, hold on to something from your youth, you'll never grow old. Look to the stars, grab one for yourself. Bye, guys.